So, just in general, like, Falcon... Falcon players are not good at crouch canceling, which is an extremely powerful tool against Sheik. Um, it's really good because pretty much almost anything she does, if you crouch cancel, you can grab. Even if it's spaced, you can usually dash grab, like, her um, forward tilt, let's say. Sometimes you can even, like, forward smash that, which is pretty funny. Uh, so what would be a really good option for... Falcon players would be to move more and then try to bait things, not just with dash dance grab, but also with crouch cancel. So uh, your two options for that would be pivot crouch cancel, which is pretty fucking hard. Uh, maybe Gravy's, actually Gravy's quarter circle method for pivots should actually be pretty good for that in theory, but I don't do that, so I'm not sure. Um, and then the other option probably the better option would be to mix in Cactor dashes if the neutral, if you're, you're kind of like losing the neutral. Um, if you guys don't know, Cactor dash is um, canceling your run with crouch and then dashing out of crouch. So effectively it'll let you like have a dash dance of any distance. In this set, there I'll just pick a random part, but like you can see Gravy ends up just like kind of throwing out a lot of moves. And Sheik's moves all have better hitboxes and frame data than Falcon's, especially on um, frame data. like. They're literally twice as fast ac across the board. So when when the Sheik is kind of beating you in the neutral, you can't usually fall back to throwing out more moves. Maybe you can if you had, you know, kind of conditioned them to think you weren't going to throw out moves. Maybe maybe they weren't crouch canceling you. But Laudanus was crouch canceling Gravy a lot. And in general, you have to trick Sheik with movement because Falcon's ground movement is what he has over Sheik. Sheik has both less ground speed and uh, also a much worse dash range. Um, in general, like pivot aerials and stuff aren't even very safe against Sheik. What's what's better is if you do that drift and aerial with the analog jump. You can um, you can read their tilt, and then if it's obvious that you are wrong. Okay, by the way, you want the aerial to be like super late. So after you jump, if you're wrong and they're clearly not going to tilt, they're not like in the spacing you expect then you just wave land away. So, and th when you try to like read their movement that way, it ends up being uh, much more like, a, I guess, read base kind of rock, paper, scissors type footsies than like a uh, reactionary thing. In terms of just, a lot of times this matchup is gonna come down to movement reads. There's really, the ranges of reactable things where people are going to actually do stupid things are like almost non-existent. Good players really rarely throw out uh, laggy, punishable things as Sheik. They don't like randomly whiff dash dash or whatever. And if you commit too much to just dash dancing and, and trying to bait, you'll just get they'll just encroach on you and push you into the corner. Um, like people always talk about dash dance camping, but that's actually kind of an ir irrelevant thing. It's not a real thing. If somebody is quote unquote dash dance camping, walk towards the back of their dash dance and then boost grab them. Like, or just forward tilt. <laughs> There's. If someone is quote unquote dash dance camping, that means they're not threatening you. And a dash dance without a threat threatening them is completely useless. You just literally fucking walk towards them and they'll dash and then send themselves into a corner. Um, so don't, don't be afraid to read people's dash dance with boost grab or dash attack. But boost grab's a little bit better. Uh. Lastly, I would say Sheik has a lot of ground movement to tools that people don't use very much, um, including Cactor Dash and Foxtrot, because Sheik's actual dash stance is basically a, a non-factor, you know, it's so bad. So you have to be ready for Sheik to move, mix up her movement game if you're trying to, you know, force the game into ground footsies, because like, like I said, you know, pivot aerials are just spacing your moves Facing your arrows at their tip isn't actually an effective strategy against Sheik.